watched a video on YouTube by Maker's Muse, and he showed off a 3D printed Geneva mechanism. Angus does a better job at explaining this device in detail, so I'll have a link in the description. Basically, it holds its position before quickly turning to the next position. I had never heard of this interesting device and I was instantly inspired by it, especially when he said it was used in film projectors. I quickly did a Google search because I think that would be really fun to make, but I was disappointed when I didn't see this device utilized in something like a 3D printed projector, so I wanted to make my own. I'm not an engineer, so it took me a little longer to figure out how this thing works and how I can expand the mechanism, but after many iterations and a few failed prints, I have a design that I think could work. There are three extra parts needed to make it move automatically. One 360 degree servo motor and a servo controller. You can use whatever type of controller you want, a microcontroller or even components on a breadboard, but this controller was the cheapest and easiest solution for me. And it will need batteries. Pay close attention to the wire colors, black being negative and red being the positive wires. To light the projector, any flashlight that will fit should work, but I like that this one has three strong brightness settings and a strobe effect, and can be focused to be more accurate over each frame. That servo motor should fit tightly in the 3D printed base. The cable seemed kind of long, so I designed a loop to hold the wire down and out of the way from spinning parts. This small piece needs to fit snug around the servo motor. You can add a small piece of paper inside to wedge it tight if needed. Next, let's assemble the redesigned 12 position Geneva mechanism, starting with the main gear itself, followed by the small drive wheel. You can add glue to hold the frame together if needed, but first check to make sure the parts turn easily. I decided to make this lock pin separate so it can be easily rotated to fit into the square shaped part already on the servo. It should be pushed all the way down. Let's add the flashlight and give this a test run. Plug in the battery and let's hope this works. Not bad. The speed can be adjusted and the controller can make it spin forwards or backwards. Now if we add a wheel with several images that passes over the flashlight, the light will project the image outwards. The wheel comes in two parts. It was easier to print it this way. So one side will fit into the other. Now let's not forget the most important part, we need slides. I created this in Photoshop and I printed it on transparency for under $2 at a nearby print center. I love how this looks and feels like old film. These slides will also help hold the two wheel parts together. The light from the image needs to be focused, so I'm using this 5x magnifying lens. It will fit into the 3D printed base to hold it at the right height. But there is currently a problem with this setup. Well, it's okay, we can fix it. So when projected, this will happen. The image will be upside down. This, this happens because the magnifying lens is a convex shape, and the light entering will be flipped when used at a point beyond the lens's normally short focal length. We can correct this by flipping the slides upside down. And now it's showtime. I have the projector lined up and I'm aiming at a clear spot on the wall. I added the lens and noticed from this distance that I couldn't see all of the frame, so I scaled down the images a little bit and I'm adding a second lens to increase the magnification. I found a good spot for each of the lenses and now I can clearly see my image projected. You might have noticed that one of my slides is a target, so that gives me an idea.
And I was wondering if this can spin fast enough to look like a video the same way a film projector does. The 3D printed parts seem to have some shaking when it spins at this high speed, so I might have to make a new version for faster spinning and maybe more frames. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did working on it, and as always, 